Okay, so let's do this. Uh, first and foremost, this is my first remote uh, talk, so uh, I'm a little bit nervous, but we'll, uh, we'll manage. Uh, please bear with me. Uh, what I'm going to do, um, uh, what I'm going to talk about today is the uh, DevOps and uh, the introduction of the security. Uh, I, I call it the SecDev, SecOps, Sec, because security should be everywhere, but that's for later. Uh, well, I'm a developer at Team Rockstars, um, and uh, I wanted uh, to in, uh, add this slide because uh, I annotated we are uh, rebels, a little bit uh, re 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 rebellish, uh, so to say, because uh, although it's told uh, we shouldn't do any interactivity in our talks, preferably, um, we are doing some interactivity. Um, I want you guys to uh, uh, go to menti.com if, you, uh, if you'd like and use uh, this code because I wanted to know um, what your thoughts are when I say DevOps. So I'll uh, open the, the, the countdown uh, for a, a, a minute. And I hope you guys will, uh, will help me. So please, uh, oh, the first one is uh, getting in here, the mindset. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, I really love you guys. Okay. So, well, the voting has closed. Thank you so very much. I, uh, I see there's a hell of a lot of, uh, 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 <laughs> of, uh, of, of words and uh, terms. Uh, uh, I got Patrick Dubois, um, but I really, uh, just humble, I can, I can play somewhere. Patrick Dubois, not really, but that could be me. <laughs> so, but uh, I think the most of the, uh, the words that I thought of uh, are already mentioned here. So developers and cloud, infra as code, orchestration, ESC. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. Uh, I got uh, this uh, next slide. Well, this this was the the one I uh, I came up with, um, which is uh, uh, a, a lot less than you guys did. But we are going to talk about uh, the DevOps. Uh, what is DevOps? Um, well, uh, I probably shouldn't be uh, preaching for the choir at this moment, but uh, when dev, uh, what, what is DevOps? In my opinion, uh, and probably it's not only my opinion, DevOps is when development, quality assurance, and operations collide, and in the sweet spot, we call it DevOps. So it's a, it's a joint effort from the entire team, um, and the team will consist of uh, developers, uh, quality assurance people like uh, automated testers and the operation uh, people that normally uh, would uh, ma maintain the running application. And uh, we can cross pollinate those, um, uh, how should I say this, the specialties and uh, learn from each other so we can have a team that can be totally self sufficient by uh, building it and running it. Like Dr. Werner Vogel said in uh, about 2006, if the quote is uh, is correct. Uh, the, the quote, the quote will be will probably be here, give or take, a, give or take a year. Uh, well, uh, there's another quote of uh, Dr. Vogels uh, just uh, a few moments ago. Uh, he said, "Sometimes you have the skill you don't know about." Well, uh, probably we all have uh, a little bit of skill when it comes to security, uh, but we don't uh, use it all the time. And uh, what I'm trying to do. Is to get you guys uh, a to give you guys a little bit more of uh, knowledge of how to uh, add security to a DevOps environment on a more or less subtle way. So, and um, well, this slide uh, I've been a bit too too fast. Uh, this slide: What do we need for DevOps? Well, 
this probably is a no-brainer, but the first one is the mindset. I saw it in the word cloud, you, uh, the, the first word that came up, the mindset. Well, uh, it, the, the, the mindset is it's really uh, good, quoted by, by Dr. Vogels, when you build it, you run it. So uh, you are totally in control of the entire uh, uh, life cycle of your application. So uh, from, from the design to building to uh, getting it up uh, in the cloud, uh, to getting it to uh, to maintaining it to keep it running, and even to uh, innovate on it and uh, release a new version. Well, how do we do this? Um, we use a lot of practices. Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, the continuous integration and continuous delivery uh, is uh, something I personally think it's 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 mandatory. Um, uh, and um, to do, uh, to, to do the entire uh, delivery, you should use infrastructure as code because your infrastructure could uh, change and you want to deploy that as well. And uh, to be uh, uh, sure, you need version control or source control uh, so that your uh, sources are uh, um, uh, being maintained in, in different versions in your source control so you can roll back if something w uh, will go wrong. Um, well, I, there also, there's also the configuration management because you probably want to uh, run the application in different uh, uh, environments, uh, staging environment or production environment, and you don't want to uh, change the application uh, between those environments. So when it, uh, when it leaves your development uh, environment, it uh, will be uh, immutable and will be run as the same in, in every different environment uh, except for the configuration. And in the end, we want to know how our application is performing so we can uh, proactively monitor uh, its, its use. And, um, and well, to do that, we need uh, a few tools. I've listed a few tools. Uh, for the infra as code, I've listed a few examples. Uh, I like to use Terraform, and uh, it uses internally AWS CloudFormation, uh, but you can use CloudFormation as well. Um, uh, and we, uh, we want to have the automated software provisioning. Um, well, I can read the entire uh, slide, but you can do also. And we want a source control system like uh, uh, code commit. Um, well, we need continuous integration, just like I said. And there's specific software that will help you uh, with it, like Jenkins or Travis. And uh, probably if you're using Java or .NET, um, or even uh, uh, JavaScript, you want the, 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 the artifacts uh, stored somewhere so you can reuse it and get it uh, as is from the, the, the artifact repository. And, um, well, I've already told you um, we want to have the software uh, immutable, so probably we'll, we're going to package it, in a, so package it in a container. I'm struggling with words, <clears throat> don't know why. So, uh, so we need a container registry and a container service. And uh, probably we need some analysis tooling too uh, for the uh, uh, code, um, how do you say this? Coding standards and uh, to, to uh, know if you are having uh, dependencies that are probably, uh, well, possibly, uh, 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 sorry for the dependencies uh, that you don't use dependencies that are uh, possibly flawed. And there, that's where security comes in. Um, and um, well, what I wanted to talk about is the uh, what, why, when, and how of security. There are uh, normally five W's and one H, but um, that would be too much. Uh, what is security? Well, let's say uh, the definition from the uh, US DOD is uh, this one, the protection of information and information systems against unauthorized access or modification of information, whether in storage, processing, or transit, and against denial of, uh, uh, so, uh, against denial of, of service to authorized users. Information security includes those measures necessary to detect, document, and counter such as threats. Uh, information security is composed of computer security and communication security. Well, that's a hell of a mouthful. And um, to be honest, uh, we can we can even uh, do more summar uh, summarize it more. Um, the information is valuable, and uh, we want it to uh, be only accessible by people that need access, 
and uh, protect it from uh, other other users, and we need to protect it from uh, uh, more forming or modification, which we uh, don't want it to uh, have allowed. So, ah, why do we want this? Um, what I was saying, the, there is uh, uh, there are three pillars in in, in security. Uh, one of it is confidentiality, because we don't want all our data to be accessed by everyone. Uh, there's integrity. I do not want my email to be uh, uh, captured, modified, and uh, sent through uh, mo uh, modified. And um, the availability. Uh, we all know uh, about the uh, tables uh, attacks, uh, and we, uh, well, in this day of age, we are dependent on, on uh, information being being available. So uh, we we really don't want to uh, have the. Uh, uh, the, the availability, the, 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 the information uh, offline uh, because of an attack or something. So, I'm sorry. I hope you guys didn't scan the QR code. Uh, if you did, you had a nice video of, uh, of Rick Astley. So, you can Rick World. Uh, that's probably also one of the reasons you, don't, you want security. Please don't uh, scan uh, everything you get in your screen. Yeah. And uh, when do you want security? Well, uh, uh, in, in the ideal world, uh, everywhere and always. Uh, and um, in the less, less, more or less uh, ideal world, we, we want it as soon as possible. So uh, I don't know if you know the, the, the shift left movement, but uh, the shift left movement is the, 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 the theory of getting more things earlier in the software developer life, life cycle, and security should be one of them. How can we do this? Well, uh, there are uh, difficult, I've missed a, a, a few multiple different security types. So we need some different uh, security controls. We need, uh, sometimes we need physical security controls. Uh, uh, for example, the, the access control gates uh, at the office uh, or a bouncer at uh, your uh, local club. Um, we can have administrative security controls like the uh, rules and legislation, uh, GDPR for some, uh, uh, is one of them. Um, and then we get the technical and logical security controls. Uh, and this is more or less everything we as uh, IT specialists are thinking about. Network security, access control lists, uh, more or less of these things. Uh, so where should security be fitted when you have a DevOps uh, uh, environment. Short answer, uh, in my opinion, everywhere. Uh, from uh, the birth of, uh, of the solution, uh, of the idea, till the deployment and the, the maintain maintenance, security should be a cornerstone. So, uh, well, this is more or less <laughs> the thing that I, I, I more elaborately wrote on the sheet. So, uh, please do uh, uh, take note that you have the... Okay. Please take note that you'll have the security as a cornerstone in every discipline. Uh, in design, during development, uh, make sure you test uh, specific uh, uh, aspects. Uh, make sure your infrastructure is secure. So, um, and, and please, please, please uh, do proactive monitoring uh, using metrics or uh, usage logs, because that's your only, uh, and maybe your first, but maybe your only uh, way of uh, uh, noticing an attack. Well, how can we do this? Long story short, um, one of the things we can do is add to the development pipe, uh, the deployment pipeline. Sorry, so uh, I'm sorry this is in Dutch, um, but this is a typical devil pipeline in my opinion. From the checkout uh, through pre-built, build phase, uh, then we do some testing, then we uh, do some analysis, uh, we package it, and uh, we deliver it. And we can also deploy it if you have the continuous deployment. Well, uh, this one is this one is uh, quite uh, uh, security-less. So what could we do? We could add some tools. That those are available online and aren't that hard to implement. And uh, what I did in this example is adding the OWASP dependency checker, some mutation or fuzzy testing tools, the security testing stage, uh, and I introduced the security testing stage in the pipeline for which we do the uh, penetration testing using the uh, OWASP set attack proxy and uh, some scripts in the gauntlet. Um, the container image checking and hardening, now, we can do this with, with, with the SNCC application or with Chef Inspect. 
and uh, some checks on infra as code, which could also be done with SNCC. That's an example. And um, this this will be the, 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 the augmented uh, the SecOps or DevSecOps pipeline, uh, in which you can see there are a few steps, which are uh, here in orange, that are uh, added just to uh, ensure the security, uh, the, the security uh, during the, the entire pipeline. Well, I have a few more tips. Uh, I, I noticed I'm almost out of time, uh, so uh, let's do this, uh, this slide really quick. Uh, please use the uh, security by design philosophy um, integrate security tests uh, for every flaw that is, that is identified in the wild. And uh, please keep them in your test suites to, to make sure that it won't reappear. And um, one of the most basic things you should do is uh, make sure that every member of the DevOps team, uh, regardless of the, 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 the tech, technical skill, is trained to be secure, security aware. So the developers should be security aware, the officers should be security aware, even the test engineers would, uh, should be security aware. And probably the, uh, the, uh, the security engineer is security aware. Uh, so that everyone knows uh, what, what security terminology is, is used and uh, can understand what, what it's meant for. Uh, please add metrics to your application. And if possible, uh, this is not really the dev SecOps, but security in general, invest in a, in a good uh, uh, intrusion detection system, for instance, SNORT. And now, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done with the, 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 the meat of the, of the uh, presentation. So please, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be on our virtual stand. Uh, I've uh, entered the, the, uh, the shortened URL here. So uh, you can find me there. I'll be here uh, today. And if you uh, want to uh, have a chat with me, please do. And maybe I can elaborate more. Uh, All right. Almost done. <laughs> almost done. Uh, we do have a raffle. We, uh, we are giving away five copies of the uh, new, new to release uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. And uh, if, you, if you drop by the stand and uh, leave us your uh, 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 preferred platform or the platform that you would like to win it on, we, uh, you are, uh, can uh, uh, have a chance to win uh, one copy. So thank you so very much. And please meet me at uh, Team of Stars uh, virtual stand. All now right. Yes. Awesome. Uh, thanks, Christian. You uh, you made it through. Everything's fine. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, uh, the, the nerve got to me. <laughs> no, no worries. Don't. Uh, you did. You did just fine. Um, so um, we have a little bit of uh, uh, of time for uh, for questions. So uh, uh, the hard part is uh, uh, is done. Um, Not a fun part again. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so we have a few, uh, uh, um, or actually, I have a few questions. Um, you uh, you talked about this um, uh, security in your uh, in your pipeline at uh, near near the end of your uh, mm -hmm. of your session. Um, one of the things that I always notice is that uh, a lot of people want to do this, and then very few people actually have it. Uh, because uh, unfortunately, security is always like a, a third-class uh, citizen, even though it uh, absolutely shouldn't be, and everybody agrees class. that it shouldn't be. But uh, uh, I don't know if you saw uh, uh, Corey's uh, uh, T-shirt this morning. It said, uh, "Encrypt everything, unless it's too hard." Yes, uh, I, I saw the T-shirt. <laughs> and that's uh, yeah. To me, sum, sums it up really nicely. But so, so, can you t can you tell me a little bit about how uh, uh, companies can start uh, with these uh, uh, adding these security uh, steps to the pipeline uh, if oh, they okay. haven't done any anything yet? The, the the first thing I would recommend is to uh, look up the, the, the uh, well, it's it's probably a no brainer. The the, the OWASP top ten of of, of uh, uh, security flaws, or at least the, there is the the, the top ten uh, of weaknesses. I think. Uh, and uh, you can uh, find um, even on the OWASP site some uh, uh, rule sets to try to mitigate uh, so, uh, the, the, the flaws. You can uh, download the, 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 Z-attack, the Z-attack proxy with uh, the, 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 the default rule set, and that should also be able to do uh, fuzzy, uh, 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 sort of fuzzy pen testing uh, when you're having an API, for instance. You can use it to uh, inject uh, or try to inject uh, uh, malicious code in, in your API endpoints. Uh, 
the, I think that would be the, the first thing to try. Just just getting some tools uh, like like uh, the Zetatech proxy integrated in, in your 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 uh, pipeline. Um, uh, but I could even I think it's, it should even be be better to uh, at least do some uh, uh, static analysis uh, uh, testing of uh, static analysis uh, in your in your pipeline. You can use Sonar Cube for it. That would be a, a, even even better start because that would uh, also uh, uh, do the vulnerability uh, the, the vulnerability check on your dependencies and uh, give you insight in uh, possible loopholes in your code. Yeah. Yeah, in general, uh, I usually uh, recommend people to not get too scared by the bigger picture and just start somewhere, you know, something that's low key, uh, low effort that is not likely to generate too much uh, um, disruption. Uh, and if that works, then you can expand uh, from there. And uh, yeah. I've seen that's, the, that's really the, the, the best and possibly even the only way to, uh, to do this because, um, yeah. Well, you need to start somewhere. So there's no excuse for not starting because it's 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 uh, it, 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 because you're afraid of the, the, the total picture. It, it, uh, when, when you get the baby steps, you'll get there uh, in the end, uh, and it will take some time, but uh, you will you will get there. But you need to do the first step. Yeah. No, I totally, uh, I totally agree, uh, and I think that uh, a lot of companies are really uh, struggling with that, uh, uh, with that first uh, step. Um, uh, let me see. I um, uh, I see a question here by an anonymous person uh, asking: No, no Sonar Cube or Zap as DevOps tools depend about. Uh, I'm not sure what to make of the question. <laughs> No, to be uh, honest. <laughs> neither do I. Uh, okay, so if uh, I can also not see who answered, the, who asked that question. If so if somebody asked that question, feel free to uh, ask it again in a um, in a slightly more uh, um, detailed way, so we can understand what uh, what it should be uh, about. Um, obviously, there is uh, someone asking uh, for if the uh, presentation is uh, uh, available. I can um, I can put these slides up. Yeah, great. Um, and uh, somebody says, uh, Justus Brugman says, uh, great point to put in uh, security by design. It should indeed be part in the first architectural designs as well. Um, Thanks. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, you know, making uh, such a huge fundamental change is not something that happens overnight. So, uh, no. uh, again, uh, start somewhere. And uh, OWASP uh, uh, Vulnerabilities have been implemented in many different languages, so uh, uh, it also makes it easy to uh, to get started. Because ideally, you want to put in as little effort uh, as possible to get to some better place than where you are at uh, now. Yeah, so um, there, there are uh, a lot of, of packages that work out of the box uh, or nearly uh, instant out of the box with just a little bit of configuration, and you you get a, a quite a lot of uh, uh, metrics and statistics out of it, and that can help you it really can. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Christian. Uh, if you enjoyed Christian's uh, talk, uh, please rate it here on the platform. Tweet to him at uh, Chrisje, uh, as you can see on screen, or uh, connect with him on uh, uh, on LinkedIn under uh, Chrisje. Um, that leads me to uh, thank you very much, uh, Christian. And, thank you for uh, having me. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy uh, that you were here. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Bye.